हाउ टू ट्रैक मोशन ऑफ एनी मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ आफ्टर इफेक्ट टूटोरियल एंड ऑल्सो मंडे इफेक्ट सीरीज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन ट्रैक द मोशन ऑफ एनी मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट इन योर फुटेज और इन योर वीडियो क्लिप इट विल बी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टूटोरियल सो डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एंड रोल द इंट्रो so you can see into my after effects composition we have uh, uh, taken a raw footage of uh, car moving so in today's episode we will track the motion of this moving car or moving van so for uh, tracking the motion of this uh, object of any object uh, you have to simply go to uh, window section and then choose here the tracker panel and here we have lots of option because uh, uh, we will track the motion with the help of uh, uh, tracking data so simply uh, for tracking any object for tracking any motion of moving object so simply you have to click on this track motion option not on track camera uh, there are uh, four other options we will talk about later in the uh, upcoming tutorials because they are uh, advanced we are starting with the track motion effect which is very simple to track any motion of any uh, moving object so simply click on this track motion option and then there will be a, a layer option will open after that you can see here is a track point track point is there what you want to track in the motion what you want to track in your moving object like a car like a, or any light or any street or any sign so we will uh, so we will track the motion of this car for uh, tracking the car motion drag this data like here on the contrast layer or uh, you can place your uh, tracker point at uh, contrast level like like after effects will easily identify this area by placing the track point on any point after effects will uh, take the data from that uh, particular area and then it will track the and it will track the movement of that uh, particular area that you have selected inside the uh, tracker point so this is the bigger uh, bigger square so you can make like like uh, so you can make it like bigger so after effects will use more information to track the moving object data so after placing the track point you have to simply click on uh, match source uh, you can uh, sorry motion source you can choose the motion source like uh, where is the motion in any footage so we have footage mp4 uh, layer and then select the correct tracker like tra we have uh, we have selected only one tracker so uh, we can track the data with the help of two tracker also so we will come up with the uh, so we will talk about that in the upcoming tutorials for make it simple we are working with only one tracker so after that simply in the tracker type you can choose the transform or stabilize or parallel but you have to simply choose the transform like uh, scale or position or uh, like what we have selected in the tracker point data we have selected the uh, backlight so it will track the position and rotation of the backlight so like uh, we can choose the position and rotation because because in our footage only position is changing like uh, from x to or from x to y position or y to x position because there is no rotation in the car or in the like uh, backlight movement so simply choose the position after that simply navigate to analyze and you can analyze your video by one frame on the on by click on this analyze one frame forward or you can analyze the whole clip by click on this analyze forward button so simply click on this analyze forward button and then chill now you can see that after effects uh, is following our uh, backlight or uh, following the tracker data wherever our car is moving or wherever our car is going so after effects will follow that uh, uh, headlight follow that tracker point follow that uh, video area and here we have we have completed our, uh, our tracker point we have completed with the, with the help of and we have and we have the tracker point like this so you can see that our tracker is following the backlight of uh, car or the uh, movement of the backlight or movement of the car or which area we have selected in the tracker point uh, squares so after tracking our footage we have to simply uh, collect that uh, tracker data and then put in another layers so so for using tracker data we have to simply click on the layer and then choose new and we have to selected null object and here we have null object so we will transfer the uh, tracking data from footage to null one layer so null means uh, there is no 
null means nothing yeah i think there is no effect will be apply on your clip when you take in null null is used only for uh, tracking data for transferring the tracking data from footage uh, layers to uh, null layers so for transferring the null data you have to simply go to initial point and then here we have added target option so simply go to added target and then we can choose the null one and uh, any layer any specific layer so uh, we are choosing the null one and then click ok after that simply you can choose the option but you don't have to choose option for now and then click on apply button and it will uh, ask you for the dimension like uh, x or y position x position or y position we have taken the position option so it will asking the x and y position like uh, uh, up and down or right to left so simply click on ok and now you can our tracking data is transferring from <coughs> our original footage to our uh, null, null layer so you can see that our null layer is uh, going with our tracker data and uh, all the tracker data from the footage into null one is converted or is transferred so for tracking any object on this car like uh, we want to add some text on this car or we want to add some element on this car like explosion so by using the tracking data we can add anything to our footage because we have the uh, tracking data of our uh, moving object like we want to add text in our footage and on the top of the van so we can create the text layer mm -hmm. now you can see that we have placed the text layer on our uh, moving car so simply for track uh, so simply you can choose the blend mode like uh, uh, multiply or pin light i think pin light is uh, great after placing the text you can see that our text is not following the moving car so for following the moving car movement uh, you have to simply create the link between the null and uh, like uh, tracking data and the uh, text layer simply place the van layer in between the null and uh, footage after that go to parent and link and then choose null one now what we have done we made the uh, null one like null layer the parent of the text layer so after creating the parental link so you can see that we have selected the parent null so it means wherever the null go uh, when text or the text layer or any explosion layer or any uh, effect layer will follow that tracking data from the null layer so after selecting the parent link you can see that our text is easily placed on our van but it don't follow the rotation because we don't have, because we uh, didn't select the rotation so you can select the rotation like i think this video gives you about a little bit information how you can track the motion of any moving object in your video so you have to simply select the uh, go to footage and then choose the rotation also so after selecting the rotation tool you can see that we have the another track tracker option so you can place your tracker wherever you want like uh, you can place the tracker here on the second headlight so it will uh, so it will track your data of the rotation so simply click on that and then analyze once again and now you can see that our tracker is uh, easily followed or easily track the motion of the uh, moving object so simply click on this apply button and then click ok and now you can place your text like here you can rotate your text mm, rotation rotation where is rotation sometime after effects is very annoying but it gives very great result to you now you can see that our text is following our the moving object or moving when and now it's time to see the final result and here we have our moving text is follow our car or following our van is very easy so that is for today guys uh, hope you learn hope you learn something new from this tutorial i hope it will really help you to you if yes please uh, don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to like this video please share it with your friends uh, it will really help us and it will really boost our confidence and uh, and we will come up with the new ideas for you so and youtube and youtube algorithm will help uh, this video at to our two more audience so don't forget to like this video so goodbye for today catch you in the next one and see you there bye bye peace and be a good person